What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. All right, then. How you doing today? Well, I thought I'd do me a commentary on the school system. Uh, I've not been very happy with the school system throughout my life, especially when I was in it. And uh, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, I have some ideas that somebody might pick up and put into place and uh, I think a corrective school system make it a whole lot better than it is today. It's antiquated, basically, you know. And uh, so here's the thing, you, what, what the school system does is try to put uh, everybody into one square peg. You'd be a round person or an oblong person or whatever, you got to get in a square peg and that's what I think's wrong with it, basically. Okay, so number one thing wrong with it uh, is funding. Funding needs to be changed and uh, Right now, your funding for your schools is funded by local property taxes, and uh, that just doesn't make it fair and equitable across the board. Uh, uh, kids live in a, a rich income, uh, high income area. Their schools are better than people that live in low income areas. So that's inadequate right there. We need to change that. So how do you do that? Well, the federal government steps in, and the federal government says, no longer will schools be uh, funded by property taxes. They will be taxed. Uh, uh, funded by uh, federal tax and uh, set up a federal tax for uh, school funding and everybody uh, who's employed or whatever across the board will pay a tax for schools and uh, it will be um, something like a consumption tax or um, perhaps it'll be uh, out of a payroll or something like that so then you get your schools funded now all the schools are exactly the same in that they have the same uh, uh, computer skills, the same nice classrooms, and no rundown, and all that kind of stuff, whether it be in New York City or somewhere in a little old town out in Utah. They all have the same quality things and the same uh, pay raise, uh, pay raise for teachers and everything. So, okay, so that uh, takes care of that part of it. The second part of Jim Bob's change would be the curriculum. You see now, uh, as I said, everybody gets fit into a square peg. So uh, a student that struggles, uh, they they just don't make it. Or um, and the students that excel, they don't excel as much as they could. So uh, the way you do that is uh, you take these uh, SAT courses and you sort of modify them that they give you for uh, give a kid for to go into college. And you take that scores and you start out a little bit out of grade school and you start evaluating kids and find out what their strengths and their weaknesses are. So let's say that a student uh, excels in math. So that student, but that student maybe uh, is not so good in art. So that student who excels in math and not so good in art, you start giving him more and more math and less and less art. You give him enough art, uh, get him by that he needs to know, and uh, you give him more and more math. So it just stands to reason that uh, he will excel and he'll feel better about himself. Now, the student, let's say, that uh, excels in art, but not so much in math, you do the same thing. And so their self-esteem rises right there. Secondly, whenever uh, they graduate out of school later in life, they'll have uh, uh, learning abilities of, uh, above and beyond on the, the things that they excel at. So we all know that uh, anybody that works in a job that they love doing, they do a better job at it than if they work in a job they hate doing. So, okay, so uh, that takes care of that part of it. And, uh, and now, when, uh, when you get that done, you gotta have one other piece of that pot, and that is the number of children in a classroom uh, has to be reduced to no more than 15 children, and it needs to be a federal mandate, no more than 15 children in a classroom, and that way, again, when you have the student that's struggling a little bit over here, it gives the teacher enough time to be able to work with that student. And the student that excels, they need to be worked with as well. They need to be kept busy and, and, and excel in what they're doing. So it gives that teacher enough time to be able to work with those students. And lastly, uh, and probably most importantly, with all the school shootings and things like that in schools, we have uh, mandatory um, health care in the school system for all children no cost and it can help them uh, if they have bullying or any kind of issue in school including uh, um, just problems at home or what have you that they can get health care at no cost free to them 
and with no stigma attached to it. In other words, meaning that because they're juvenile, those uh, records could never be um, shared with the public. So they wouldn't have a stigma of being a mental health student, say, something like that. So that's Jim Bob's idea on uh, improving the school system. I hope some politician out there is listening, I doubt it, but maybe he is. And uh, he could uh, maybe introduce some of these things in the Congress. Maybe we could get our students to be the best in the world. And uh, when they graduate out of school, they have, will have studied all the things that they are good at. And they'll have the basics of the things that they don't, that are not good at. They'll have enough math and everything to do their checkbooks and all that stuff. But there won't be so much emphasis on that. And they will excel in the United States just like uh, all Americans should. So thank you for watching. Jim Bob appreciates it. Please subscribe. Jim Bob's out.